Hello friends, welcome to the 22 episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode we have seen uh, how to enable the validation um, in the server side uh, in, and as well as in the client side. Um, so in this episode I will show uh, on successful insertion um, I will append this message here. Okay, So I have uh, removed the client side validation. So let's yeah dot message SG. okay so um on successful insert uh, we will append the message so from the chat details we will get the different um content like chat id etc so let's review the console networks let's insert one record here we can see the details so let's grab these details from the json object so this is the json object um, obj so from this we can get like no if the status is then we will grab chat details equal to obj dot chat details so we got the information uh, now we will create a html block um, like this is structure so let's copy and paste so we will create this structure so let's create um, var chat html at first it will null then concatenate all these things So here now we will replace the um, user name with our value like with the name. Okay. So so chat details details dot name and chat details dot message. MSG. So we have built up this string, uh, and also we will pass the ID. So chat details dot ID dot ID. So let's um, view this one. Console dot log save go to the front end and refresh so let's insert some message and check the console so here you can see uh, this one is created good so we will prepend this in the text box uh, in this evil block so let's remove all this so um, here we will prepend so jq instead of dollar why because uh, in joomla both use more tools and jquery and both use dollar sign that may conflict so ul has dot append nd a p p e n d append chat html okay let's remove the console one save and try hi I have not refreshed this page hi here you can see user one is telling hi another another so we have to format this so let's make some css so after the span 
uh, we will give this separator and uh, let's define some style class this one uh, font wet bold okay um, with pixel um, let's put padding um, margin right um, 20 pixel margin right 20 pixel that's good uh, color make white as one two three mm, no this is not good so change this to this one yeah that's good and also change the message um, color white that's enough so let's um, copy the style set so this one is for uh, message class uh, sorry user class so let's define this in our CSS so dot user and dollar for message just color is 3 and uh, one more thing uh, the mean height and set the maximum height max height let's make this 250 250 and if overflow overflow x hidden but overflow y should be scroll bar so overflow y is uh, scroll we can check overflow scroll scroll save and refresh so here we can see um, scroll bar so now if I write now in that class we have to give some margin left and also mm, add some CSS for the separator so dot chat message or mm, font weight bold font weight bold so this one will be span class span and the message uh, margin left left that is a um, 5 10 pixel no just 5 pixel okay now let's refresh the page now try hi this is user 1 hi viswa yeah as you can see and uh, now we can we will get the scroll bar let's try couple of time yes now here you can see the scroll bar is coming the drawback is uh, we have to move this scroll bar so in the next episode uh, we will uh, now when somebody comes uh, now there is no chat history 
so in the next episode uh, we will display all the chat messages okay so thanks for watching and um, please uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any comment feedback just write comment below the video thank you